Hi, hey guys, what's up? It's your boy JP. Hope you all had a good weekend. Uh, I did. Uh, good weekend. Uh, couldn't have had a better day for me today for sports wise. Uh, my picks weren't that good, but I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, Jets beat the uh, Giants in a great, great game. Um, Jets were were really struggling for most of this game, but this team doesn't quit. They don't give up. They were down uh, 20 to 10 in the fourth quarter, about eight minutes ago. Uh, Giants went for it on a fourth and two, and threw an interception like right in the end zone. So that gave Jets life, and then. You know, we just fought back, tied it, and then hit a field goal in overtime. And then Josh Brown missed his first field goal of the season for the Giants. 52-yard field goal. So, Jets win 23-20. Ohio State gets a good ball game against Notre Dame in a Fiesta Bowl. Pump for that one. Can't wait. Um... And the Patriots lose to the Eagles. So, anytime they lose, I'm happy. But, anyway, yeah, good day. But, was not a, was not a good weekend for my picks. Alright, we'll go by them right now. I got Houston right over Temple. Got Michigan State right over Iowa. Got Alabama right over Florida. Got... USC wrong over Stanford. Got North Carolina right over Clemson. Or wrong against Clemson. North Carolina said they were going to win. I called it. They didn't. You can, you can say what you want about the refs. Not one of those people. North Carolina that was a bad call on that onside kick. Call him offsides. He was not offsides by any means. They were, if, and if that penalty isn't called, North Carolina, they were covered that onside kick. So they'll have the ball in great field position, and they would have a chance to tie that ball game. But, you know, the officiating has not been good this year. It's been the worst I've seen in a long time, maybe ever. It's not good. But it's hard, it's hard to be a ref, you know. You know, they got to make the calls, and sometimes, you know, they don't make good ones. Or they don't make them at all. But, so... Three and two in college, and then in pro, I won with the Bengals, lost with the Vikings. Holy cow! They absolutely got smoked against the uh, Seahawks. Lost with the Raiders against the Chiefs and the Patriots. Now this was my one lock pick. You know. I'm not a Patriots fan, but this is my one, my one lock, you know. I didn't think there was any chance they would lose to the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. They did. They were losing 35-14, to 14, New England. Fought back, but it came up short. So... I was 21 and 15 coming into this weekend, uh, and I went four and five. So now I'm uh, 25 and 20. That's still not bad, but want to get better. Okay, so.
Carolina Panthers. I watched that game against uh, New Orleans Saints. Man, what a game. I tell you, son, you know, Cam Newton, man, he's incredible. He has got a cannon on him for an arm. Unbelievable the way he throws that ball down the field. Holy cow. Got one of the best long balls I seen in the NFL. I mean, he threw one to Ted Ginn that was just like a, a bomb. That was, he was wide open. But then he threw a couple to Ted Ginn. He was wide open too, and Ted Ginn dropped two. One that would have been a touchdown. So, um, yeah, Carolina's still undefeated, 12-0. and uh, Playing well. Did not expect them to uh, be this good this year. Uh, that was a tough game for them today, though. They had to scratch and claw in that game to win. Hard-fought win against the, against the Saints. All right. Let's talk about the college football playoff. All right. Just came out today. Now, if you want to watch the breakdown of the balls and stuff, it's on at 8 o'clock on ESPN. Okay? So, but I'm going to break, break them down with you right now, okay? So, the top four was what we expected, you know. We knew that what the four teams were going to be. We just didn't know what, how they were going to be seeded. So, Clemson won, Alabama two, Michigan State three, and, uh, or, yeah. No, uh, sorry, my phone. Yeah, Michigan State three and Oklahoma four. Okay, so you got um, Clemson versus Oklahoma, and then you got Alabama versus Michigan State. Both going to be very good games. Alabama, Michigan State on New Year's Eve at 8 o'clock ESPN. Clemson, Oklahoma, 4 o'clock on ESPN. Same day, both on New Year's Eve. And Houston and Florida State start out the day at noon. So, that'll be a good day for college football. They're in the Peach Bowl. Houston and uh, Florida State. So, and then you got Iowa and uh, Stanford in the Rose Bowl. You got Ohio State and uh, Notre Dame in the Fiesta Bowl. That's going to be a good game. You know, so that's some really good bowl games. All, as I, all I can say is New Year's weekend is going to be some good ball games. I'll tell you that. All right. And then, oh yeah, then you got Oklahoma State and Ole Miss. That's a good game too. So yeah, and the Gators play Michigan too on New Year's Day. But we're gonna talk about talk about Alabama and uh, Florida yesterday. All right. So. Yeah, Alabama won, but I'm going to tell you something right now about the Florida Gators. Okay, their defense is awesome. Okay, yeah, they gave up a lot of yards to Derrick Henry, but he's going to get his yards, okay? But they were all over the field, Florida. I mean, they were they were playing good. And I mean, Trayon Harris, man. He missed so many passes. He had guys wide open. He had he had uh, Goolsby who was wide open, 
and he completely overthrew him. He would have walked in for six easily. Gators were coming back at the end of the game, kind of in garbage time. But if you make one or two of those plays, they're in the game. And it's completely different. But I'm going to tell you right now. You know, and, it's, and it stinks because ever since Florida lost Will Guerrero, their offense has been, you know, awful. And if he didn't get suspended, if they had a decent quarterback, you'd probably see Florida in the playoff right now. Because they have good playmakers on offense. And I really do believe if they had Will Guerrero, or a decent or better decent quarterback, they would have beaten Alabama. They would have. You know, because they their defense is good enough to keep them in games. And Trayon Harris is just not. He is not a good quarterback. He is probably the worst quarterback I have ever seen in football. He's he's not good. But. I don't know, hats off to Alabama. You know, Derrick Henry is good. Alabama, Michigan State's gonna be a good ball game. Alabama was favored by uh by nine in that game. Oklahoma is favored by two and a half over Clemson. So we're we'll talking about Michigan State and Iowa and man, that was a that was a good game. Iowa, they got a really good defense, and uh, man, at the end, I thought they were going to stop them, but good effort by Michigan State to fight for the first down, but there were a lot of times on that drive where Michigan State had big third downs, and every time they needed one, a big third or fourth down, they they got it. They converted it. And that that's great leadership by Connor Cook. And by everybody on that offense. Clemson. Yep, they beat North Carolina. Controversial call. Who knows what would have happened if they didn't call that penalty. He wasn't offsides. He, he just wasn't. But I'm going to make, like, all the picks for, like, the big uh, ball games, the ones that I think are in intriguing. So I'll, uh, I'm gonna not going to make picks for college, obviously, for a, for a few weeks. I'll be making my pro picks still, and I'm going to be making more picks for college basketball. Okay? Alright, you guys have a uh, good rest of the night, and uh, take care. Alright, bye.